Hey guys, this is Stephen Welch from the parts department at PJ Trailers. And uh, today I want to talk to you about our wireless remote option. This option can be used on all of our dump trailers, uh, all of our hydraulic tilt trailers, uh, also our power tail and our hydraulic dovetail. And it can also be used on our hydraulic jacks. What you're, what you're probably used to is this normal corded remote uh, with an up and a down for your hydraulic options. Uh, but what I want to talk to you today is about today is a uh, wireless remote option. Uh, it turns your remote into just a simple key fob. You can hang it on your keychain and keep it with you. Uh, these key fobs are pretty handy. They they work uh, just like a normal corded remote would, and uh, you can carry it with you wherever you want to go. And if you want to, if you're lo say you're on a hydraulic power tail option on a flat deck trailer and you're loading up a tractor and you don't want to get out and let the ramps down, you can just have this in your pocket while you're on your tractor and lower your ramp. You can also use it on your hydraulic jacks if you're unloading your trailer and uh, for some reason you're, you're at the back of the trailer or somewhere else, you can do it where, from wherever you're at with this hydraulic, uh, with this wireless remote. These things are really, really easy to install. It only takes a couple of minutes to install them. Basically, you just uh, pop your toolbox open take the, the sticky back off of your uh, your little unit there and the sticky back off your antenna and then you stick it where you want to place it in your toolbox. You might want to put the antenna on the outside of your toolbox where you'll get a better signal and then from there you take the cord with the quick with the quick connect that goes in line with the remote, the corded remote and you'll plug it in. You'll plug the remote into one side, the corded remote into one side and the other side you'll plug into the the little uh, adapter that goes to the hydraulic pump. So then you're going to hook your red wire to the input post on your solenoid and you're going to hook your black wire to your negative post on your battery. Be sure when you attach your red wire to the uh, input post on the solenoid that you don't over tighten that nut. If you, if you torque it more than about 10 foot pounds it will break the solenoid.